Hello everyone. Good day po sa lahat. In this video, we will discuss po natin on how to solve for x and y. These are our unknowns. mga unknowns sila. Paano natin iso solve for x and y in a given equation. So still part ito ng discussion natin on algebra. Sa basic algebra natin. So let's start and solve for the unknowns which is represented by uh, x or represented by y. So first problem natin, meron tayo dito. If 16 is 4 more than 4x, find 5x minus 1. So ang given natin, ito gagawin natin ng equation. 16 is 4 more than 4x, find 5x minus 1. So yun yung first, ano natin, first equation natin. So from this given equation, find natin yung value of 5x minus 1. Okay, so, mabilis lang ito. So, uh, let's try our first equation. Ang first equation natin. Okay. First equation natin, 16 daw. Sabi dito, 16 is equal to 4 more than 4x. Pag sinabi natin more than, you have to add. Okay. So, i-add natin si 4 kay 4x. So, therefore, that is 4x okay, plus 4. So, yan yung value ni 16. Okay? So, ito yung first equation natin. So, si 16 is equal to 4x plus 4. So, ang pagbasa niyan, 16 is 4 more than x. Okay? Uh, 4 more than 4x. So, yan yung first equation natin. So, let's find the value of x in this particular uh, equation. So, ang value of x natin dito, ang magyayari dito, i-save siya, i-transpose natin si 4x dito sa kabila para mas mabilis makita. Okay? So, this will become 16. Yung addition natin, yung plus 4 natin, pag i-transpose natin sa kabila, that will be minus 4. Okay? So, that uh, to get the value of x, 16 minus 4, that is 12. 12 over 4. Then, therefore, x is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3. Now, we can find the value on what is asked on the problem, 5x minus 1. So, it's a solve na natin. We have to input the value of x, which is 3. So, therefore, 5x five x, five x minus 1 is equal to, okay, so 5 times the value of x, which is 3, okay, minus 1. That will give us an answer of 14, okay? So, because when you multiply, 5 by 3 is 15, minus 1, that's 14. Therefore, yung equation natin na 5x minus 1, ang answer niya is equal to 14. Next, we have, our second problem is, we have this, find the value of x in this given equation. So, ito yung equation natin. So, in this equation, ang sabi dito natin, Okay, so actually, dalawang ano na siya, dalawang given na kasi may value din dito. So let's try, uh, yung equation given here is x plus 1 over 3 plus 2x over 4 equals to 47 minus 2x. So yun yung ano natin, yung uh, equation natin. So ang question is, what is the value of x in this given equation? So if you have noticed, magkaiba po yung denominator natin dito, 3 and 4. So in this particular scenario, in order for us to add this, para pwede natin mag-proceed, pwede natin i-add si x at saka si 2x, okay? we have to find uh, a common... Uh, number that is both multiple kay 3 and 4. Dito sa kanila, this is considered as over 1 to sila. So, any number will do. So, ano ba yung common na multiple of 3 and a multiple of 4? So, we can try by subtracting 3 and 4. That will give us 12. So, let's rewrite this equation. That will give us x plus 1 over 3 plus 2x over 4 equals to 47 minus 2x. We have to multiply this whole equation. Ang whole equation natin multiply by 12. Okay? Hindi pwede ito lang equation on the left side. Bakit? Kung ito lang multiply natin, magiging iba yung value nito. Magiging iba kung hindi natin isasama ang uh, the uh, expressions on the right side. So, dapat isasama na natin dito. Okay? So, if we're going to multiply this by 12. Okay? So, let's compute for this. So, uh, 12 divided by 3, that is 4 times x, that is equals to 4x. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1, that is equals to 4. So, plus 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 2, that is 6. So, that is plus 6x. Now, let's proceed dito sa kabila naman. 
Okay, so 47 times 12 is equal to 564. And 12 uh, divided by 1. Actually, it's 12 divided by 1 because this is considered as over 1 yan sila. Over 1 yan sila. Okay, so 12 divided by 1 is 12 times 2. That is equals to 24x. Okay, so now we can now solve for x because we are on a linear equation. So if we are going to sum this, we have uh, uh, a transpose natin. Okay, so dito sa kabila, that will give us 4x plus 6x plus 24x. 24x, that will give us 564. Then we have to transpose this. The addition becomes subtraction minus 4. So therefore, if we're going to add 4 plus a uh, 4x plus 6x, that is 10x plus 24x, that is equals to 34x. And okay, 34x equals to 564 minus 4 is 560. So x is equal to 560 divided by 34 will give us an answer of 16.47. So therefore, in the given equation, x, the value of x is equal to 16.47. Okay? So next, we have... Uh, Example number three. Okay, so actually, so in finding x and y, madali lang po yan. Basta isipin nyo lang po uh, yung mga properties of integers natin, kailangan din nyo natin i-remember. Okay, at saka yung uh, pag nag-transpose tayo sa kabila, you have to remember kung anong dapat magiging sign niya. Kung positive or plus siya sa kabilang uh, side of the equation, pag transfer mo sa kabila, it will be a uh, subtraction. Pag ito naman ay uh, division or in a fraction form, pag na-transfer mo siya sa kabila, it will be uh, multiplication. Okay? So, yan yung ano natin, rules pag nag-transpose -tra tayo ng mga uh, values or, uh, or expressions into another side of the equation. So, let's find this, uh, let, let's solve this problem. Number three, find the value of x and y from this equation, wherein we have given, we are given two equations. The first equation is x minus 4y plus 2 equals to 0. The second equation is 2x plus y minus 4 equals to 0. So, sa mathematics, algebra po, kung meron tayong two unknowns, dapat two equations, two unknowns, okay? Otherwise, kung isang equation lang, then two unknowns, like in this particular example, dalawa yung unknown natin, we, we have uh, to find the value of x and y, dalawang unknown, so dapat dalawa din yung equation natin. Otherwise, uh, yung uh, problem natin, hindi, ba, na, hindi natin makukuha yung exact value, okay? But instead, ang makukuha natin ay equation pa rin. Kung one equation, two unknowns ang ibibigay. But in this scenario, we are given with two equations, with two unknowns, and therefore, we can solve for x and y in this particular example. So let's try and proceed. Okay? So sa first equation natin, given uh, four my, for, uh, x minus 4y plus 2 equals to 0. So let's try and find the value of uh, x in this particular equation para... Uh, pwede natin i-substitute yung value of x dito sa second equation natin. So, let's proceed and make our first equation. First equation natin, okay, so x minus 4y plus 2 equals 0. So, x is actually equal to, i-transpose natin sa kabila, uh, the negative 4y will become 4, positive 4y. Positive 2 or plus 2 will become minus 2 pag na-transfer natin sa kabila. So, this is now our first equation. Okay? So, meron na tayong first equation wherein we, we can now substitute the value of x doon sa given second equation natin. So, your second equation is 2x. Okay? So, our second equation is 2x plus y minus 4 equals to 0. And this is our second equation. So what we're going to do here is we have to substitute equation 1 to equation 2. So this is your equation 1. Substitute natin the value of x dito sa equation 2 natin. Okay, so let's proceed. So 2 times what is x? So x is equals to 4y. Okay, x is 4y minus 2. 
Okay, so that is now the value of x. Then you have to add plus y plus y minus 4 equals 0. Okay, so in this scenario, makikita nyo one equation, one unknown na lang tayo. So we can now solve for uh, y. So let's proceed in this particular equation. Kung multiply natin uh, 2 by uh, 2 times 4, 4 y will give us 8 y, 8 y minus 4. Okay, so 2 times 4, that is 8 y. Then 2 times uh, 2, that is minus 4. Then we have uh, plus y, again, minus 4 equals to 0. So we can proceed and uh, do the math for this. Okay, so 8y plus 1y, that will give you as 9y. So did I continue? So we have now 9y. Equals, so it transpose natin si uh, minus 4 and si minus 4 sa kabila. So that will become uh, positive 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 8. So y is equal to 8 over 9. Okay, so therefore, yun yung value ng y natin. And we can consider this as our third equation. So this is your third equation. Then we can substitute the value of y dito sa first equation natin. So let's substitute y sa first equation to find the value of x. So x is equals to 4y, where in 4y, 4 is 8 over 9 minus 2. Okay, so x is equal to, we we'll multiply natin, 4 times, uh, 4 times 8 is 32 over 9, okay, minus 2. So let's find the common denominator, which is equals to 9. So our answer will, is shortcut ko na lang, alam nyo naman paano ito gagawin. Okay, so you find the common denominator, which will become 9. Okay, so uh, this will become 9, uh, 1, 9 divided by 1 is 9 times 2, that's 18. So 32 minus 18 will give you 14. And you have over 9. Okay, so therefore, our answer, x, the value of x is 14 over 9. And the value of y is 8 over 9 in this given equation. So for these two equations, given equation, the value of x is 14 over 9. And y is 8 over 9. Okay, so very easy pag-solve ng mga ganitong problems. Hindi pa siyado pang complicated kasi uh, linear equations lang. Okay, so hindi masyadong maraming i-compute. So let's have our last problem. Sample problem natin. So ito, number 4 natin. The value of 3 to 2.5 power. Meaning to say 3 raised to the power of 2.5. And uh, square siya. So raised to the power of 2 pa is equal to. So, ito, mabilis lang to If you still remember o kung napanood na po yung video natin on the properties of integers, meron tayo doon sa uh, property of uh, multiplication of integers, uh, I mean, property of exponents, doon sa product rule. Sa product rule, uh, ang ginagawa natin sa exponents natin, minumultiply natin. So, paano ba yan? So, in this equation, ang tanong ano daw value ng 3 raised to the power of 2.5 raised to square. So, kung isusulat natin itong in equation, this is actually 3 okay, raised to the power of 2.5. Okay? And this is being squared. Okay? So, means to say squared raised to power of 2. Ano nga sabi natin sa property of exponents, sa product rule natin? Okay? Pag multiplication yan, what you have to do is you have to multiply also the exponents. So, in this particular uh, example, multiply natin ang exponents. So, ang mangyayari dyan is 3 raised to the power of 2.5 times 2. Okay, 2.5 times 2, that is actually equals to 5. So, 3 raised to the power of 5. So, kung multiply natin yan, okay, kung we are going to find the value of this, uh, multiply na natin si 3, 5 times. So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, if you're going to do the math for this, you'll have an answer of 243. Okay? So, limang beses lang natin multiply si 3. 
Okay, so very simple. So therefore, yung equation natin, okay, the answer is 243. So very easy. You have to remember also the property of integers. So in this scenario, the property of exponents. Okay, so you have to multiply the exponents and you have to uh, make sure that you get the right uh, computation. Okay, so very easy. Kung hindi pa kayo masyado na gets kung paano mag-solve for x and y, gagawa pa po tayo ng mga videos on the solving for unknowns in the coming days. Okay? At saka yung problem solvings that are related to algebra such as your uh, work problem, mixture problems. Okay, so yung uh, mga uh, problem solving is nothing related to age. So, iso solve natin yan. Okay? So, again, thank you so much if you were able to learn something from this uh, short video natin on the uh, finding x and y in a, in a given equation. So, feel free to write your comments below and suggestions kung meron kayo. And don't forget to like and subscribe our video. Okay? So, thank you so much. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye po.